Now we have the uh, going to Montana. That's uh, Tillman Tiger Oblander uh, having his uh, Model T pulled by his mobile home. Floyd Russell coming off of the trailer. This is Conrad Montana. This fellow is uh, from California, Fred Upshaw. Fred Upshaw is up in years. I believe he's about 75 years old. Eddie Hintz doesn't care. Just bang his roadster off of the trailer. No harm done. Out and under, preparatory to putting wire seals from a head bolt to a pan bolt on the engine. Part of the rules. Also carburetor check. And the registration table. Somebody's always tinkering. John Frick of Dutton, he's one of the local Montana boys. They're also checking. Now we have a driver's uh, meeting with a comment by Chuck Worthington. Here Tillman the Tiger is giving his car a brake test. Floyd Russell's brake test. Notice how he can slide his rear wheels. The Tiger wasn't satisfied with that performance so he's going to try it again. First car off on the day of the race. Floyd Russell, car number one. We live in Great Falls, or uh, not Great Falls, uh, Conrad, and we're headed towards Great Falls. Number four is Bud Peters. He's a farmer from Ledger, Montana. I think he has 5,000 acres. Farms are big in Montana. Chuck Worthington. He works for the Burlington Northern Railroad. Eddie Hintz, he has a business servicing uh, garages for car parts. Car number 13, I forget who that fellow was, but he wasn't that unlucky. Lancaster, California, John French, Frank Iverson, he has one of the nicer looking roadsters and he's been in many of these races. Dave Miley with his car. Scott Rawlings from Lancaster, California. Some of the action along the way. We're on the interstate and it's beautiful driving weather. Coming into the checkered flag. I believe this was at the Great Falls area. Here's a restart near the Air National Guard at Great Falls. In restarting the cars, they start them off in the same fashion in which they reach the finish flag. Two cars came in close together, two cars start out close together. There's Floyd Russell and his part of the race. That roadster belongs to our friend 
from LaGrange Park, Illinois. Tillman Oblander, Tillman the Tiger. Here's two fellows uh, seeing which one can get to the flag first. This is a, a lunch stop in near Craig, uh, Montana. Craig is a very small town and it was a hot day and the cars that got there first found the shady spots to park. The Montana race in 1981 ran on June 29th to July 2nd. Floyd Russell is off again. One, two, three, four, five, six. How's that for a restart? Going to see some action along the road now. Coming into the finish flag for the day. Finish back in Conrad. I believe they had over 200 miles of uh, racing on that first day. Start of the second day, leaving Conrad. On the second day, the cars that finished last on the first day are given the first start off the next day. In that way, the cars that finished first have the handicap of having the slower drivers ahead of them. We're on our way. Believe it or not, these cars rolling along the highway a lot of times are going 50 or over 55 miles an hour, depending on the, on the grade in the road. And if you can catch the draft of another vehicle, the drivers will take advantage of it. That's the way to do it. Hang on behind a semi. Let him pull you along. We're coming into Sweetgrass, which is a town at the Canadian border. And that was the lunch stop for the day. I believe they allowed a 
something like a two-hour layover. How's that for a triple finish? One, two, three. The purple car got the advantage there. He snuck in ahead of the other two. As you can see from this picture, Sweetgrass was a little wet in spots. That's a nice neck and neck finish. Another pair of This is another one of the restarts that was after either a coffee break or a lunch break. Did you notice the way those two cars stop for the stop sign? Watch this next car. That's with the way you stop when you're going for time. There's the stop sign. There's the Model T. Away we go. This is the last day of the race. We'll flag out at Conrad again, and we will wind up the race at Ledger, Montana, at Bud Peters Ranch. There's Bud Peters himself, Scott Rawlings from Lancaster, California. He always makes a good showing. I believe this was a stop at Dutton. Stop for gas and for lunch. Now we're on our way to Ledger.
wide open road. No problems. Still fighting for a position. Now we're driving over to Bud Peters' ranch. Actually, Bud Peters is a wheat farmer. has a very nice place lots of room for antique cars he's got a few stashed away in odd corners of that building this is the checking and inspecting of the winning cars to see if they followed the rules now we're awarding the trophies Some of the drivers on the race, some of them are the sons of the original Model T cross-country drivers. <laughs> 